Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. This is episode 8 of Make an RPG series, and uh, today we're going to be covering turn-based combat. We finished up our item creation for now, and we're going to move on to something bigger and better. So today, uh, so I decided to uh, do turn-based combat, and uh, for the first, at least for now, and so what I'm going to do is create a new folder under our scripts folder, and I'm going to uh, call it turn-based combat. And under this turn-based combat, today what we're going to work on is creating a uh, switch case or a, a simple state machine that monitors our battle state. So I'm going to go into create. I'm going to create a new C# -sharp script. And I'm going to call it turn-based combat uh, state machine. Press enter. I'm going to open that up in Mono Develop, and we're going to work on creating our actual states. So what the way I do this and the way you can do it is create a public enum and it's going to be of type battle states. So what we're going to do list here in our battle states uh, type it's going to be all the states that are possible. So we have a start state. This is where you can initialize and start all the uh, background processes for the battle. You have player choice. You have enemy choice. And these are when the player and enemy um, choose whichever move or whichever moves they're going to be performing for their turn, and then they'll execute, and then it'll go you know between the two. And then we're going to have two end states. We're going to have a lose, and we're going to have a win. And so what happens is is whenever you know, the, either the player loses all their health, or the enemy loses their health, or whichever, however we decide the player loses or wins, will determine which state we call here. And then, so below that, we need to set up a variable that allows us to check the current state. So it's going to be a private, and it's going to be of type battles states, and we're going to call it our current state. And in our start function, I'm just going to immediately set current state equal to start battle states dot start. So that means every time this script runs our battle state is going to always be it's going to always start and start okay you don't have to do this if you uh, if you have another idea you want to start your battle so you know you can start immediately immediately in player choice you can add more states maybe you have an uh, animation that you want to add so you can uh, and you want to create put that in its own state so you can do player animate like that and what that could do is the player makes their move choice with a button and then it switches to player animate. It animates that move, and then it switches to enemy choice. It all depends on what you guys want to do. But I'm going to keep it simple with these five states for now. So we're going to come down to our update function, and we're going to create the switch case. So we're going to go switch, and in the switch parentheses, you're going to put the uh, states that it's going to monitor. So you're going to put current state, and you can create brackets. And then in these brackets for the switch statement, we're going to create our cases. So the one case we have is um, battle states dot start and under that you do break so basically and what we have here oh it's supposed to be a colon here so what we have for this case uh, this case statement is nothing's happening when it starts it's just going to immediately break it's going to stay here in loop uh, until we tell it to go to another state uh, but we, what we can do is add functions in here. So like, like maybe like a setup battle function. Maybe it randomly generates an enemy, and this is what it does in the start uh, case. The next one we're going to do, it's going to be the same setup. We're going to do battle states, and we're going to do player choice. Make your colon, do a break. And I'm just going to set these up real quick. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to control C to copy and I'm just going to paste a few and so we need enemy choice this is going to be our lose and then we have one more and that's going to be our win so already we have set up our state machine and what it's going to do the program is going to come into it's going to when the script starts it's going to say okay our current state is start so it's going to jump down to our start in our update function, it's going to come down to our switch case, and it's going to see case start here. 
and so it's going to run whatever's in here. It's going to continue to run that until I tell it to either leave or something happens and it tells itself to go to a different state. So what we can do in between these uh, breaks, is, or in between the player choice and break and the enemy choice and break, you set up functions that you want to run there. And uh, today what I'm going to do is just a simple, I'm going to set up a, a GUI button that's just going to run through the states to show you that we have our actual states working. So in our update up here, I'm going to do a debug log, and I'm just going to output our current state just so that we can see it running. And I'm going to save this. I control S to save. I'm going to attach this script to our main camera. And I'm going to press play. And I just want to sh show you guys that we jumped in to start. Should output. Yeah. So here you see the state machine running. We're just in our start right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this. I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to create a button. And when I hit the button, it's going to switch our case to player choice. So we're going to do void on GUI. And this is kind of how you can set up your menu later on. And this is what we will do, is that when the player chooses a move, it's going to, after it executes a move, we'll switch states and go to enemy choice. So I'm going to do if, I'm going to do GUI, dot, uh, we'll do actually GUI.layout, or is it GUI layout, do button, and it needs content, so we'll do, uh, we'll just call it, we'll say next state. And then we'll close up our bracket for our if statement. And then we're going to tell it what to do. So right away we're going to say if current state is equal to battle states dot start. Then we're going to switch Kate. We're going to set our current state equal to battle states dot player choice. So what, what I just did, just to clarify, just to explain it again, is I created a button using GUI layout. Uh, it's going to automatically size it up to the screen. It's going to uh, create the button, and I'm going to press it. And it's going to switch. If our case is at start, it's going to switch it to player choice. And we should see that with our debug statement in our uh, console. So I'm going to go back to Unity. Oh, let me go back. Control S to save. Go back to Unity. I'm going to press start. So you see we have, we're saying start in our uh, console. I'm going to press next state, and it should switch our states. Oh, and it did exactly. So now we're in player choice. So I'm going to press play, stop the uh, the game. I'm going to go back into our GUI button here, and I'm going to create a couple more ifs, uh, else if statements. And I'm just going to copy and paste, actually, what we wrote before with an added else. And I'm going to go down and just have it run through all of the statements. So we can just keep cycling through. So. We're going, to, we're going to change start to player choice and we'll go to enemy choice. Copy and paste that again. And we're going to move from enemy choice. If I can type enemy choice and we're going to go down to lose. And then if I hit it again, or if it's a lose and I hit it again, we're going to go to win. And this is just to show you, and then we'll go back. We'll do one more and we'll go back. So if it's at win, and then it will go to start. Now this is just to show you guys how we're going to cycle through each of these uh, cases. So it's going to clear on, I'm going to press play. We started in start, I'm going to hit the next state button. We're in player choice, we go to enemy choice, lose, we should go to win, and then when I hit it again, we should go back to start. And it works perfectly. So today we've set up our basic, super basic uh, state machine that monitors the battle state. So what we're going to do next time is go in into these each states and create different functions that run the actual game. So I hope you guys tune in. I hope you found this useful. Uh, leave comments, subscribe, like if you like the video, and I'll see you next time.